Iron Deficiency Anemia. Think A to G. A. Anemia. The critical thing, though, is whether I de- is whether iron deficiency anemia is new and can be indicative of underlying disease, which we'll cover in more detail. So essentially, um, in order to have iron deficiency anemia, you've got to be anemic, have a hemoglobin um, less than um, 130 if you're male, less than 118 if, if, if you're female. Um, and it varies a little bit from lab to lab, um, but also have ev- evidence of iron deficiency um, with perhaps a low ferritin um, uh, or other labs that can indicate um, iron deficiency. So I think the critical thing is when a patient develops iron deficiency anemia for the first time, that could be indicative of of GI blood loss uh, over a period of time, uh, which could cause the iron deficiency. And of course, that could be indicative of serious underlying pathology. Um, Whereas if somebody has recurrent iron deficiency anemia in the long term without any GI symptoms, it is reasonable just to continue to treat them with iron. Gateway C Live, Greater Manchester. Fast Facts supporting earlier and faster cancer diagnosis.